Hello dear friends, this is Yule Humphreys. Glad to be with you and share with you again uh, just a, about a five or ten minute message <clears throat> from the Bible and I pray it will be a blessing to your life. I thank God that we're speaking from the Word of God. I believe the Word is what we need. It's not so much what I think that I'm telling you, but it's what I believe God is thinking. It's not what I've said, but it's what God has said. And I'm bringing you His Word. I want to speak to you on the fact that, <clears throat> that uh, we are saved by the Son of God. We're saved by the Son of God. We're saved by Jesus Christ. And that's the reason it's so important that we preach Jesus. The Bible says over in John, the first chapter, we read these words concerning this fact. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now the word here means Jesus. But we find later that it says the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, born of the virgin. So here <clears throat> is the word. The word was with God. The word was God. So you can say in the beginning was Jesus and that Jesus was with God and he was God. In the beginning he was there. All things were made by him and nothing that was made was not made by him. All things was created by Christ. Over in the about third chapter of Colossians, it says, We know that in him all things are created, whether in heaven and earth, or all things, principalities and powers, everything created by Jesus and for Jesus. And so we read, In him was life, and the life was the light of man. And so we see that, number one, the Lord Jesus is divine. He's divine. He's not just a prophet. He's divine. He's God in the flesh. In the book of Colossians, the first chapter, in verse 18 and 19, it says this, And Jesus is the head of the body, the church. He's head of the church. And uh, who he is the beginning, uh, and, and the wisdom from, from the, and the firstborn from the dead, and that in all things he might have preeminence. For listen, for it pleased the Father that in him, in Jesus Christ, should all fullness dwell. Should all fullness dwell. That is, all the fullness of the Godhead, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So we see the, the divine direction that, that the Lord Jesus gives life because he's divine. He's life. He's divine. Over in the book of uh, John in the 14th chapter, uh, Philip said to him, Lord Jesus, show us the Father. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you this long and you have not known me Philip he that has seen me has seen the father he that has seen me has seen the father so he and the father are one really now they are one now completely when he's in heaven now while he was down here in the flesh he was the son of God he's still the son of God in that he has still in the in the immortal flesh that he took upon himself and he's in heaven now so praise God for that we thank God that he is life. The Bible says again, In him was life, and the life was the light of men. He's our light. He's the light for you right now. You're looking at a problem in your life, and it's pretty dark. I want you to know Jesus is your light. Look to him. Turn on the light. And you do that by going to him and asking for help, by believing in him, by trusting in him as the Lord of your life, by holding him in your heart as best you can, by reading his word, by praying to him, talking to him, believing in him. He is your life. And now if you're not sure of that, I want you to pray a brief prayer with me, asking Christ to come into your heart and be the Lord of your life. Pray a prayer like this and mean it from your heart as best you can. He loves you very much. And he's, here's the prayer. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And so it's important that you know that. Here it is. Say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he rose again. I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart. Help me live for you as the Lord of my life. Amen. Pray that prayer. And Jesus will be the Lord of your life and he will be light to you. Light is something we need because light gives us assurance. When it's a dark room, you turn on the light, you have the assurance. Now you can see where you're going. 
light shows you the way. Oh, it shows you you're driving a car down the highway at night, you turn on the lights, and then you can see where you're going. It shows you the way you're going. And so we recognize then that it's important. Over again in the first chapter of John, it says that he came into his own, and his own received him not, but as many as received him, he gave them power to become the children of God. So when you believe in Jesus Christ, you become a child of God. You belong to his family. He, and when you belong to his family, then you belong to him. You are saved and born again and become a child of God. And oh, it's good to know that you've been adopted. You've been adopted and your name's written down. Well, in Romans in the 8th chapter, verse 14 and 15, it says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. <clears throat> And you have not received the spirit of bondage, but you receive the spirit of adoption, whereby you cry, Abba, Father. Sometimes a child is adopted in a family and becomes a child of that family, and an heir of all the family has. And so we've been adopted by the Lord, and we've been saved by His grace. Praise the Lord. And then finally, in uh, verse 15, 14, it says that the... and. Uh, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld His glory, the glory of God. And the Word was made flesh. At Christmas, He was born in a manger. He came to uh, undo all the things that were against us. He came to lift all the burdens and the darkness. He came to give us light and love and light. He came to give us hope and help from heaven. He came to save us from hell. He came to offer us a mansion, a robe, and a crown in heaven. And when you believe in him, you're going to get through some way. It may be hard right now, but hold on, dear friend. He loves you. He's never going to let you go. He's going to bring you through. You're going to make it because God is bigger than your problem. And he's greater than anything you have to face. And he loves you very much. God bless you. Find you a good church if you haven't got a, been into a church, if you've never been baptized, never been in a church. Find you a good church and follow the Lord and read your Bible and pray and seek the face of the beloved and let God be your strength. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, we're saved by the Son of God. And I'm grateful for that. Saved by God's own Son. In the name of Jesus, amen.